Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will see the numerical based on causal and non-causal signals. So the question is designed like: Determine whether the following signals are causal or non-causal. So the signal is given as x of n is equal to u of n plus four minus u of n minus two, right? If you plot a graph for u of n plus four, so it is what u of n plus four, right? It means it will be defined for n greater than equal to minus four, right? This is what time advancement, correct? So the signal will start from minus four itself. And the amplitude of the signal is uh, what one. So I hope you are aware about this. So u of n plus four is what basically one when n is greater than equal to minus four and zero when n is what smaller than minus four. Hope it is clear to you, right? So this is a plot for this. Now let's. Look at the plot for u of n minus two. So u of n minus two. It means what? You will get the value one for n greater than equal to two, and zero for n is smaller than two. Right? So if you plot the graph for this, it will look like this. See? So the signal starts from. n is equal to two, so for n greater than equal to two, the amplitude for u of n minus two is equal to what one. So it is basically a delayed version of u of n, right? So it is something like this. So now, in our question, x of n is basically what? This minus this, right? So if you see the instant. The common instances are from n greater than equal to two. Am I right? So when you subtract this two, so at n is equal to two, it will become zero. The amplitude will become zero, and going forward, the amplitude will be zero because we are subtracting this two. Okay. So if you plot the final graph for x of n, which is basically U of n plus four minus U of n minus two, so it will exist from n is equal to minus four to n is equal to one. Okay, so you can say like the given. You can say like the given. Okay, signal. The given signal. Exists from n is equal to minus four to n is equal to one. Okay, so if you see here, since x of n is not equal to zero for n is smaller than zero, okay, that is why it is what. It is non-causal, non-causal signal. That is why it is called non-causal signal. So here, this x of n, which is basically u of n plus four minus u of n minus two, is a non-causal signal. And if you see the graph itself, it is clearly visible. Like it exists for positive time as well as for negative time also, right? So if it exists. in positive as well as negative time it means it is a non causal signal simple right so this is the first example i hope this approach is clear to you now let's see one more example and then we can wrap up this session fine so here we'll see the signal is given as x of n is equal to u of minus n right So now tell me, how will you define u of minus n? We already know, like 
u of minus n is equal to what 1 when n smaller than equal to 0 and 0 when n greater than 0 right it is clear so I already explained you and if you see this signal the signal only exists the given signal the given signal okay exists exist only for exist only for n smaller than equal to 0 so if it exists only for n smaller than equal to 0 it means what it is an anti causal signal right so it is anti causal anti causal if you see at up level so you can say it it can also be called it can also be called it can also be called non causal signal why because the definition is designed in a way like when a non causal discrete time signal is defined for defined only for n smaller than equal to 0 it is called anti causal signal so all anti causal signals can be called as non causal signals also that is not a big deal hope this is clear to you so these two examples are enough to understand the causal and non causal and anti causal signals so if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching